So I don't mean to bombard the page with videos tonight, but since I spoke on it, here's the other little 22. So the butt stock's busted. Um, like I said, I want to get an original butt stock. It is a Hopkins and Allen 722 single shot. Now check this out. So I've never seen anything with a falling block loading gate other than like a Browning high wall and low wall. My assumption after messing with this rifle, and it's got some, you know, some a little bit of surface rust and it's got some pitting, but nothing deep. Um, it's all original, so that's cool. But the hammer comes back, right? And the loading gate, there's no spring tension there. So my guess is the retention spring is busted inside the gun, but the hammer doesn't go back far enough so that the loading gate will open and expose the chamber. So I'm thinking I've got two busted springs inside the gun, but we have, watch this, we got return on the trigger. So the trigger spring's fine. Uh, when we get the loading gate forward and we depress the trigger, we can move the hammer completely forward. So I'm thinking I got two springs to buy and I got a buttstock to try to source. And then I've got a working example of a single shot boys rifle that was built in 1908. How freaking cool is that? Um, it's nothing super special. It's not worth a million dollars, you know, or anything like that. But to spend 75 or 80 bucks to maybe bring this old girl back to life, I think would be freaking awesome. I mean, it is all original. It's not been refinished. The, the forend stock is original. The butt stock is original. Everything about this thing is original. And this gun was built in 1908, 1908. And it might cost me about 75 to 80 bucks, bring it back to life. I would like to find an old takeoff stock so that I could you know, retain the same color and quality and whatnot. Um, worst case scenario, I can spend 60 bucks. There's a guy that actually makes a stock for this rifle, but uh, you know, it's too easy, man. I can get in this rifle, uh, order the two springs, get on Numeric. I think they have both of them in stock, which they have very few uh, parts for this rifle in stock. Most everything that they have on their site shows out of stock, obviously. Um, you know, gun built in 1908, you're probably not going to have steady and readily available stock for. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'd love to find the butt stock. Um, if any of you know where I can source a takeoff, let me know. Um, but yeah, two springs, based on my initial assessment, I have not torn the gun down, but I've got return on the trigger. Uh, the firing pin is a free floating pin, so there's no spring for it. And it is in there, it is complete, it does protrude. Um, there's no issues there, it's got a little bit of rust on it, I'm gonna clean that up. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I get this thing, get the hammer out, get the block out. Uh, replace the springs, replace the block and hammer, and then we'll have appropriate spring tension. It'll be a firing uh, operating example of, uh, you know, a rifle built in 1908. And then uh, if I could find a buttstock for this sucker that's not snapped off, that would be really cool. That'd be really, really cool.